how about we end it? That it was all just a dream. No. I like that idea. Two against one, we win. Ooh. <laughs> Speaking of, I've had this dream at least twice a week for about two months now. It's the same every time. What's it about? Life and death, I think. It has actually started to scare me a bit. Why? Because maybe it's all real. That maybe all of it is really happening. I don't quite understand it though. Maybe it's just a metaphor. Whatever it is, don't worry about it. Dreams are just dreams. Some are good, some are bad. Some make you worry, some make you calm. It's all in your head. I don't know. It's just got me to think a lot about life and death and time. Anyways, we're all in the dream. We are? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's just get this shit done. No, I want to hear it. It all starts in the woods. There's a creature standing there by itself, with an hourglass in its hand. Suddenly an almost identical creature appears.
when the time is about to run out in the hourglass, they stop. The first creature hands the hourglass over to the second one. Then it disappears. The one who's left seems scared. Like a good life just turned into a nightmare. So it drops the hourglass it has been handed on the ground. It visits places they've been together. It walks through them, like it's searching for the vanished friend. This is where we come in. Mila and I meet up outside my house. The creature is there and it sees us. It wants to be with us, but we can't see it. We can't feel it. We can't hear it.
It all ends with Nala accidentally dropping the hourglass to the ground, which makes it break into pieces, and that causes the creature to disappear. So, the hourglass kept the creature alive? I guess. But it would have gotten a new friend if it had just waited. See, the hourglass represents their life. It has two lines and a skull on each side. When the sand passes the first line, a new life begins, a new creature appears. When the sand passes the second line, the end is near. The creature holding the hourglass gets hurt. When the sand reaches the skull, the hourglass is turned around and handed over to the new creature and the old one disappears. So, since it broke, does that mean the existence of the creatures end? I don't know. But what if that's the meaning of it? I mean, what happens when you lose the one keeping you alive? 